Hello Fumi Nation, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, my name is Fumi Desaluvold. Before I get into it, Fumi Nation, thank you for the love. We are growing in leaps and bounds. I have an emoji for us so that you guys can know our tribe and know each other. I am so excited. I am so, so appreciative for the love, for the support, for the growth, our tribe. And yes, we are a vibe. To Today's episode is bra hack number four for the backless what for the backless dress i tell you a little story i have been doing this bra hack for years and i wore this bra for my wedding a lot of you know but some of you might not especially those of you that are new in the tribe we got married three times we got married in california we got married in nigeria we got married in norway for the simple fact that some family members could not travel so they were like come to nigeria have your traditional wedding come to norway and have your norwegian wedding so I had a summer wedding, I had an autumn wedding, I had a winter wedding, and my summer wedding was a backless, beautiful Vera Wang dress. And I was still busty, but I was super, super slim. And I needed a bra to support my bust, but give me that flawlessness in the back. So when a lot of you asked me, Fumi, please, we need to have a backless bra. And I will do a halter neck. And I'm going to go through shapewear with you guys and give you ideas of what is to come when I do start my own line. Now, when it comes to backless bra, I want to show you how I created my own because I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it then, 12 years ago. I couldn't find it prior to when I was getting married and I still can't find it now. So I decided to create one for me. Now, this is a bra. More often than not, I feel that a backless bra should be nude. Why? Because it matches with your flesh tone. For you to use the clear strap is tricky. Why? Because it can tear. Because once you punch holes in it, it can tear. That is one. Now, this particular hack is for all bus sizes. It is for all bus sizes, but I have a special love for my limousine girls because I'm a limousine girl. I'm actually from Texas. <laughs> We do it big in Texas. We do it big. We're big, we're bold, we're proud. And there are no apologies. Completely unapologetic. Now, what I found was being big busted, I needed wider straps. I'm talking about the bigger, wider girls now. Because a lot of you keep on asking me in various uh, episodes, can I wear the push-up tape on its own? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. That is why there are pasties there. These hacks are for my limousine girls. Look, you've got the pasties there. You don't have to wear the bra. But for the bigger, busted girls like me, it's heavier. So you need the carrier. That is where the bra comes in because it gives the bigger busted girls the support. A B cup girl is not the same as an F cup girl. There is weight there. It's like taking one grip, it's like taking 25 grips. The weight is different guys because I see what you tell me in the comments. You can wear the tip on its own. You can wear the bra on its own. These hacks are unique because they are for big busted girls. And I know for a fact that it is one segment of the shapewear industry that they have not paid full attention to. And I don't know why. I don't know why. So I'm here to tell you it all. Like I was saying, flesh colored bras are great. It's closest to your skin tone. You can change out the straps if you get those bras that have clips in and out, or you can cut this off and put a clear strap. The situation for bigger busted girls is that the clear strap is not wide enough. I will make wider straps. I know they're going to take my ideas as I'm talking like this. I know they're going to take my ideas. Before I continue, I know some of you will be asking me, Fumi, what are you wearing? I'm wearing H&M. This was a dress that I think it was extra large. So I took it to my alterations guy and he just stripped it off and I used the excess and I used it as a scarf. 
as you get older, as far as I'm concerned, and my mother told me this years ago, most especially once you get married, there are two things that you should invest in. A Chanel bag, yes, and an alterations guy or girl, because your body will change. You will lose weight, you will gain weight, you will get pregnant, you will get bigger busted, you'll get droopier busted. Your body will change. And as your body changes, it's not necessarily that your wardrobe has to change. Your alterations guy will adjust your wardrobe to you. Do we love, darlings? Do we love? Like I was saying, you can change out the brass, you can cut these straps off, and you can replace them with clear straps. The problem is, I haven't found clear straps for bigger busted women that are wide enough. That is why this bra would not work. I'm just telling you the tips here. You must also get a bra that has an underwire because you need the underwire to assist in lifting the bust as much as it can. That is also very important. So what do we want? We want a wider strap. We want flesh toned. We want an underwire. Why? Because once you find that bra, what are you going to do? You're going to cut it off of the strap. You're going to cut it off of the strap. This one is just a clip so we can take this out. There you go. Once you do that, what are you going to do for me? You're going to cut this off. You're going to cut it all off. <gasps> yes. You're going to go onto this side too. And then you are going to cut this off. You're going to cut from here all the way to there. You're going to cut off this excess because you will no longer need it. You're going to cut it across the underwire. Yeah. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to take your strap and you're going to get your alterations guy to sew the strap here as opposed to here. You need it here. So let me show it again. This is the strap. You cut it off from here. You cut it off from there, right by the underwire all across. And then you get the seamstress to sew that strap onto the bone here. And I will show you what the bra should look like. This is what you should have. This is what you should have. You will be asking me, Fumi, where did you get these bras from? This is Skims from Kim Kardashian's line. And this, my darlings, is Nubian skin. As you can see, I love flesh tone because it just works. It just works. So I'm out there with Nubian skin. I'm out there with Kimi. So I use the two brands. They're the two that really give me a variety. Again, like I said, as you can see here, this is a bigger strap. So because this is a bigger strap, this is better than Kim's because it's too thin. Why? Because it's a bigger bus that needs more support. Alrighty. So this is another bra, very, very similar to what I was showing. And you cut it down here and you put the strap from here. You move it up and you put it there. Once you've done that, this is what you should have. Where is this bra from for me? This is Nubian skin. This is Nubian skin. It's a wonderful brand, wonderful, wonderful brand for women of color because they get the tone right. So what did Fumi do? As you can see, I cut it on the edge. So you should have this. Do you understand? It has been cut off on the sides because we want to make it backless. So that back strap that we, you have, like a normal bra, we cut it all off. I am going to now wear this bra for you so that you can understand what I'm talking about and how completely backless it is. And then we will go in with the push-up tip and support it from underneath. All right, my darlings, are we ready or are we ready? The reason being why we use this bra was because it had the bigger strap. It had the wider strap. My alterations guy sewed the strap for me. You push the underwire down so that you just have the fabric and it's easy for you to sew on there. As you can see how it has been cut all around. When you turn it around, there you go. You can see how it was cut on the side there. There you go. And this is 
your strapless bra. The thicker the strap is the greater support to hold your boobs up. And what I like about this strap is also you can adjust it. So once you put it on, you can adjust it and you can pull it so that the weight of your boobs are lifted by the adjustment strap. All right. Do we understand? Do we understand that we have cut it off on this side? And let me just trim because there's a little bit right here. So I'm just going to cut that off. There we go. Try an old bra. Try an old bra first and go in with that. So we're going to now put it on so that I can show you. Okay. And there you have it, my darlings. Completely, completely and totally backless. Just look. And as you can see, the bra is cut off from here. That was the extra strap, which you don't need. All the way in the back, completely backless. Completely and totally backless. Yeah? With the straps to the side. This was the piece that was there. Let me just lift up so you guys can see. <laughs> this was the piece that was there, and that was the back in the strap. You take that off, and it is completely, completely backless. When I turn around, it looks good. It looks good. But look at the bust. But when I amplify it, look at the difference. And what do we need, my darlings? Push-up tape. So you take your push-up tape. All right? Remember what I told you. Make sure that the strip is not as long as you need. Why? Because it stretches. Alrighty? A lot of you keep on asking me, Fumi, is it waterproof? Will it hurt when you take it off? I am going to do a complete episode on that for you. So you tape it right there underneath, half bra, half skin, and you go right across. You go right across to support the bust right across keep going yeah there you go why for me because your bust is heavier and you can cut off the excess you don't have to have it all the way to your armpit do you see what i'm saying this is what you should have and this my darlings is what supports the bra this is what supports the bra this is what supports the bust and you are good to go. So it's completely strapless and it is up there. So do you see the back? Let me turn it around for you. There you go. Do you see my back? Completely bare. Completely. This is the best backless strapless bra hack that I have been able to use religiously for all of my dresses. And as you can see, let me just turn it up like this so you can see. There you go. And then this is the bra. <laughs> there you go, darlings. So it is the two that you need. And then you can see here as well. That's it. And this, my darlings, supports it. It completely supports it. So I'm going to wear my dress now for you guys so that you can see. Until you take it off, it will not move. It will not what? It will not move. I'll be back wearing my dress. Okay, my darlings, I have my dress. It's a backless dress. Let me turn around so you guys can see how backless it is. Yeah. So I'm going to put it on. Do you see? Do you see, guys? That is your backless bra hack. Let me turn it around for you guys so you can see. And there you have it. <laughs> it supports 
and you are good to go. They'll be wondering, my God, but where is the bra? Is it coming down from here? No, it is all in here. This is where you keep it and then you are flattered with that beautiful, beautiful backless back. I hope this helps you guys a lot. This is one of my best hacks ever. Get an old bra first, just to try it out so that you can see how it looks. Make sure that you go along the underwire, that is where you cut off, and take it to a seamstress. Or if you can sew it yourself, sew it with a flesh-colored thread. Or try uh, a black thread. It will work, but don't try white because it will seep through. And there you have, my darlings, you have your complete and gorgeous backless bra. And that is it. Se fi ni. <laughs> I will be back and I will do a halt and egg bra hack for you guys. I'm going to come with so many things for you now that I know that this is what you truly, truly love. Thank you so very much for all of the comparisons to Cicely Tyson, to Michelle Obama, to Grace Jones. I am so honored. But I think above all else, what am I so happy for? I am so happy that I'm here to show you these because I realize that you just really honestly didn't know, that you didn't know. And this has been around for years. I did this for my wedding day and I don't want any bride, any bride to be deprived of looking her best in what she desired most as a dress to wear because she didn't have the right shapewear underneath it. That is so terribly, terribly unfair. Thank you, Fumi Nation. Thank you, my Supremes. Thank you, my Queens. Thank you, my Queenettes. I am so honored to be a mom, to be an auntie, to be a big sister, to be a younger sister. I'm just for the tribe. I'm just for the tribe. I'm here for the vibe. <laughs> Yes, I am. And I love this because I love fashion. And we're going to go in because a lot of you are saying, how do we hide the tummy? We're not hiding the tummy. We're going to get rid of the tummy. You and I together. I'm not going anywhere. We're here. And guys, we have a Fumi Nation emoji. Yes, we do. It is fire. It's a heart because I love you. But I love you so much that it's heart. I'm an Aries. And the sign for an Aries is fire. When I saw this emoji, I thought it's so perfect because we have grown so fast that somebody said, wow, Fiego, it is on fire. And I said, you know what? This is our emoji. This is our tribe. This is for us to know each other. This is how we're going to continue to grow. We are going to get it so together. We're going to get it so together that guess what? Your rates are going to go up and plus tax. <laughs> yes, my darlings, I love you so much and I will see you sooner than later. Love you, baby. Love you.